right, arm in the box. Box is on. Where? Ignition in three, two, one. Welcome to Distort, the show where we distort time in order to see things you might otherwise miss with the human eye. I'm Mauricio. And I'm David. Now we already explored the colder reaches of the elemental fields with liquid nitrogen. We thought we'd go the other direction into the hotness of thermite. So, what is thermite? What is thermite? What is thermite? So thermite is just a reaction between rust, iron oxide, and aluminum. By the way, this is Dr. Larry Marjoram from the University of San Francisco who has a PhD in chemistry. He's legit. Thermite is actually uh, first discovered around the turn of the century uh, by a, a chemist who was looking for ways of uh, welding materials and metals together. Uh, and it produces molten iron. Uh, it actually takes a bit of energy to react, so don't sweat it. And don't lick your finger either. Because if you just bring rust and aluminum together, nothing happens at room temperature. So this is what we call a kinetic problem. You have to get it started. You have to go over a little hump, and then once you get over the hump, you go. And it goes. But not really with a bang, but more with like an extremely hot fizzle. Yep, you see, these are two solids reacting. Explosions tend to be a result of gas reacting. That is, until this 4,000 degree Fahrenheit reaction meets, say, a can of compressed air that you saw at the beginning of the show, or a can of shaving cream here. Why is it so outrageously hot? Uh, this one happens to be a huge release of heat just because it's all the built up energy in the two materials you're bringing together. So you've got aluminum, a metal that really doesn't want to stay aluminum. You've got rust that doesn't really want to stay rust. Wait, 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 wait. Aluminum and rust don't want to stay aluminum and rust? What, do they aspire to be something greater? Actually, it aspires to be something lesser. Aluminum, for example, is considered unstable because it constantly wants to either lose or share three electrons from its outer atomic shell. Okay, smarty pants. How's this for unstable? So if you, if you lit a match... I told you so. It wouldn't, wouldn't work. Wouldn't no, work. no, not hot enough for a match, right. Okay, so what does it take to set up a thermite reaction? Well, one of them is uh, burning a magnesium strip. So magnesium is a pretty soft metal. It tends to burn pretty easily. So you can either start it with an acetylene torch or some sort of spark, get it going. That heat gets transferred to the thermite reaction and starts it going. And once it's going, it's pretty difficult to stop. I mean, this molten iron drips and poked holes in this engine block. And its long burn nature is both dangerous and scientifically cool. Yeah, that's a cool thing that was part of the discovery. One of the products in the reaction is oxygen gas, which is also flammable, so you want to be worried about that. So underwater, it's self-propagating, so you don't need oxygen from the atmosphere because the reaction produces oxygen and keeps the process burning. Thanks to Dr. Larry Marjoram from the University of San Francisco for providing some brains behind our thermite reactions. Mm -hmm. And thanks to Joey Rabier for making and setting off all the thermite reactions. And thanks to NIMBY for allowing us to use their space for all of our meltdowns. If you haven't subscribed to the show, please do. I'm David. I'm Mauricio, and we'll see you next week. Most people have an average delayed response of about 190 milliseconds to detect and respond to visual stimulus. So in the state of California, it's actually illegal to build a traditional potato gun, right? So the idea is that you've got a piece of PVC, you put hairspray or something else explosive inside of there, you trigger it, it explodes. State of California, they'll get your ass sent to jail. Or a misdemeanor. In any case, the police can get upset with you. Oh, I'm
Why did you lie to the children, Care Bear?